Hey, String Slingers, it's Frank Spear, that guitar guy, back with you. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a whole bunch of really cool things you could do with a simple bar chord. We're going to get into it in a minute. This is my Nash Telecaster I've had since 2009. It's pretty beat up, but it's my all-time favorite guitar. You can see the fingerboard seeing a lot of action. I'm a professional musician down here in Central Florida, and I gig three to five times a week, and I use this guitar almost exclusively. I have a backup telly uh, that really never gets used because I hardly ever break a string on this. It hardly ever goes out of tune. It could be 105 degrees and 100% humidity here, and it could be 60 degrees, and it's still, it just, the neck never moves. It's a wonderful instrument, Nash. Bill Nash. I have no affiliation with him. He's got great customer service, been a great guy to me. Anyway, if you're into tellies, check out Nash Telecasters. He also makes Strats and Les Pauls and a bunch of other guitars, actually. So let's get right into it with these bar chords today. Okay, let's use an A bar chord for this. And I'm going to show you that by taking your pinky, taking this regular A major bar chord, taking your pinky off and putting it down on the high E string here, gives you an A9 chord. Okay. Putting it on the B string here gives you an A6 chord. Taking it from on the B string and moving it up a half step gives you an A7 chord. Dominant 7th chord. So you've got You've got all that already just off your A major bar chord. If you're doing some finger picking stuff See how cool that can be. Pull offs. And sliding into these notes. Now, if you're on the nine here, high E string, and you slide up one, you'll grab that C note, right? Which is um, the almost like an A minor chord, except you have the major third here still. So it's like a major minor chord. You get this kind of sound. So you combine those four little moves. And then those hammer ons. So, really cool stuff there just using your pinky. And if you're not used to that, you know, it's going to hurt a little bit. Going to put some real tension right here. So, you know, do it until it hurts and then stop for a while. Come back to it. <laughs> Another really cool thing you can do with your bar chord is your typical Chuck Berry rock and roll move. And then you can add it by, if you can really get that stretch, you can add the note above it. Right? So you're taking your regular bar chord here and you're reaching up with your pinky and you're playing that A low note against that F sharp. So you're playing the standard bar chord, then you're grabbing this F sharp, and then you're grabbing the G. You know, move it up to the B chord to make it easier. You know, whenever you're practicing something like this and it's a little tough, just move it up because obviously everything gets a little bit closer together up here and a little easier on the fingers. So there's your Chuck Berry action. How about a little old school country Folsom Prison Blues action here off the bar chord? <laughs>
what you're doing here is you're taking basically just this bar across the entire strings and you're hammering down onto this C sharp. And then you're grabbing almost a D form here. Another way to do this is by clawing with your fingers, reaching in and pulling up on the strings with the pick, right? Letting, then letting that open A ring out and hammering down from what is like a C chord. notes on the B string too. Really cool working man blues Merle Haggard lick. I think you're really going to dig this one. I don't see a lot of people do it, but it's used in jump blues and rockabilly quite a bit. Rockabilly? Rockabilly. So what we do is we take this bar chord, any bar chord really, and we slide it down and back, a half step, down and back, down and back. And as we're doing that, we're picking down each string, bump, 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 right down. And it sounds like this. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cool. Here's a sort of variation of that. Take this form of the A bar chord. And then take your finger down here and grab these two notes and slide into these two notes. The simple suspended chord is a great one to use all the time, just to spice up whatever chord you're playing, whatever major bar chord you're using. Take your pinky, reach down and grab here on the G string. <laughs> A suspended chord simply means you're suspending the third of the chord. You're taking the third out of the chord and you're replacing it with another note. In this case, it's the fourth, D. The third is C sharp. It's right here in the chord. We're getting rid of that and we're putting in the four. Right? So. It's a very pretty sound. You know, if you had some overdrive on it, a lot of distortion, it can become very Van Halen. Uh, Eddie used those chords all the time. It's another form of the suspended. You're doing the same thing just out of this A shape. So you're grabbing the D up here instead. There's your C sharp, your third. There's your D. You can see how that's applicable to any bar chord like this. Here's a C. C, C suspended four, D, D suspended four. Very 38 special. I have very little overdrive on this, but you get the point. Another really cool trick is sliding into the chord from either a half step below or a whole step below and doing all three steps in. So for example, if you're opening a song with an A bar chord, you can start on the G bar chord and work your way right into it. 
Same thing when you go to the four chord. Or come into it from just a half step below. You can just reach up to with this finger and drag this in without moving the chord at all. Same thing with the four and five chords. Just using this simple one, four, five rock and roll pattern chord progression to make the points. You can also go in the opposite direction. Or just a half step. Or both. Just a cool sound, and I'm surprised people don't do this more often because it sounds really difficult. If you're not seeing what somebody's doing, you're thinking, what are all those really cool chords they're using? They're <laughs> just using the same chord everywhere. These articulations can really add a lot of flavor, a lot of spice, a lot of flair to your playing. Another example would be taking the five chord and going down to the four like this. Slide them any which way. Now your job is to start combining these. String Slingers, thanks for tuning in today. I appreciate you guys very much. Thanks for watching. Check out the description below where the little word says more down there. I've got some cool links to some cool products down there you might enjoy, you might dig. I just put on a fresh set of elixirs on here. And being down here in Florida where I have very sweaty hands and it's hot and humid all the time, these things last forever. So I've got the link down there for the best price. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one.